Warning. Broken simulation. Broken simulation. With Sam Tripoli. Welcome to Broken Simulation with Johnny Woodard, Sam Tripoli. We're in it. We're in it. Yes. I need to turn that into a job. Do it again. Give it to me. In it. I don't want to get it clean. Hold on. We're in it. Go ahead. We're in it. Your voice is gone. Bro. Yeah, I've been I've been road dogging, bro. Your voice sounds like your brakes when you drove up. Oh, you I know, dude. Some... I got one of those. My, they say the the car I got that the the back brakes go out very quickly. It sounded bad, dude. It sounded really bad, yeah. really bad, like uncomfortably bad. Yeah, yeah. You can. I heard you coming. Literally like there's some the hot chicks that like walk their dog on my block. Oh no. And it's like they're young, but I still like they're like. 22, 23, and they're hot. You never know what they're they, being to, dude. Yeah, and they and I just like I pull it. I'm like, oh, she, there she is, walking her dog. She's so <laughs> hot. And then I have to reverse <laughs> it. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> is that your bones or your car, no, Granddad? That, that's her. That's her vagina sparking because it's so dry. <laughs> closing from up hearing my like, <laughs> like like the walls in Star Wars, yeah, you know, yeah. just like, <laughs> yeah, that's it, dude. It's so so. I'm getting that fixed this week, but. I uh, want to thank everybody who came to, came out this weekend to my shows. It was great. Where'd you go? I I, I went Flagstaff, Tucson, and then uh, um, El Paso. Nice. And they were fun drives. It was fun hanging out with the guys. They're 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 both young, so it's fun to go out with them. And uh, yeah, man, I'm blessed, dude. I'm blessed. It, it was a good time. I want to thank everybody. I I'm more comfortable working out new material in front. I. I have a, like, if I go to a, if I go, it was very interesting, dude. It was like, so the, so Flagstaff's great. Like, dude, if you've never been to Flagstaff and you're like, where should I move to? Flagstaff's one. I drove through after it snowed, dude, when I came out. And it was it's the most beautiful it, place I've ever it, seen. It's got everything you want. Okay. It's uh no state tax. Okay, but you're like, oh, it's Arizona, it's hot. Not northern Arizona. No, not at all. This is yeah. perfect, dude. You get a little bit of weather. Everybody wants some weather. And then you're just an hour and a half from Phoenix if you want to go get weird, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I love that. So that was fun. I had a great time. Wait, so you're on the reload now, right? With your act? I mean, it's just I'm trying, Johnny. It's 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 like I I'm doing a little combination of like some of my cuz like these are my like I had never played Flagstaff, so they didn't see my act. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then That's tough. Yeah, it's I, I'll get into, it, but Flagstaff was great. It was a lot of fun. You know, a lot of swingers showed up. It was great. Swingers? Yeah, a lot of people were, were like really down with the me watching them bone. I'm like, I'm too tired. I'm just So you tired. denied more people. I denied. Oh. I, they always say they're down with it, but I know they're faking it. They're not really going to let me go to yeah, watch you, them you go to Palm Town. I do know that. that. Okay. I do know that. Uh, if there's so, anybody I would trust to, that would know that just by looking at people, it would be you. I have to yeah. Say. And so, so well, you know, that was fun. Uh, so then we did Tucson was a great time and it was so hilarious. So, so I'm doing Tucson, right? And, um, you know, we, it was a pretty, it's not a big room. It was pretty full. Mm -hmm. First show is pretty full. I, I'm doing these, uh, uh, I'm, I, I'm doing, uh, dude, it's really crazy how long I can go. I can do an hour now of just talking. It's really nuts. Uh, you know, that's what you get when you're almost doing comedy for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't make sense. Right. It's like really crazy. Um, so the you know, so so I I can't sit in the place where I'm performing. I so I have to walk around, and this is my life. By the what way, what do you mean? Like the green? You can't sit in the green room. You, uh, these places didn't have green rooms. One awesome. the, the the second place too sounds like oh we got somewhere upstairs. I'm like I'm not going up there. I'm just gonna chill here. So so we we so I'm just walking around. I see this guy, and this guy goes. Triple E! And I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, I love your show. I'm like, thank you. Are you coming to the Sam show? He's like, no. What? I'm like, why? Because he's like, I'm just, I'm not. What, so he just happened to be in the area? but He just had to hit a 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu thing That's so on. That's crazy. That's funny. And he's hanging out with this shredded girl who's just shredded. I love a shredded girl. No, but this is like super shredded. Oh, like too shredded. Where they, where they ask, it's one of those chicks where they ask if you would, and you know my answer. Would. Yeah. Would. Yeah, always. Really? It's really hard. By the way, have you seen what they're doing with Selena, S Selma Gomez? Selena Gomez? 
Is that her name? I don't. It depends on who you're talking about. Are you talking about Selena Gomez, like the former child actor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's got a she's got a little heavy, but hey, Johnny. No, she Shut she did, your but mouth. I don't. I haven't seen her lately. She's so not I, really heavy. What's the thing with her now, though? Is that what they're saying? Like, yeah, would that, you? Because she's heavy. Because they say she's Mexican. She's going oh, in her face. I but see. go to my Twitter. Go look look at look up. You can look up a new Selena Gomez. Uh, it's gonna be impossible to find on my Twitter because I tweet so much. What I really have to. What happened to you? Like cutting Johnny, that back. You Johnny, said that month. Johnny, I want to fast, I want to stop doing porn, and I want to stop tweeting, and it's like, it's really hard for me, okay? Oh, so, wait, have you slipped up on the pornography? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, I, really bad. And oh, like, no, to, how to, long ago? Like, last night. Was it the road? Yeah, yeah, you, or, it's, oh. yeah, it's just, I'm lonely, I'm sad. Were you disappointed? Yeah, it sucks, and it's just low vibrational, but once I'm in it, I'm like, oh, my friends, I miss you. Time flies, too, huh, when you're doing that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It is like a time vortex. Um, um, okay. Oh, what? No, I, hold on. Let me see. What, I'm looking for a Selena Gomez. Yeah, block. yeah. Just keep going down. No, that's way. Go up, go up, go up. Wait, this is okay. That's way. Go down. No, that's that's so funny. You found the old one. That, I mean, that's is, my alternative one. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's the real one. Go down, see if you can find it. It's going to be forever. Just keep uh, going. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. Man, it's. Brother tweets a lot. Yeah, I, I just got to figure out my life. Anyways, so as you're looking for that, Johnny. What, was that? what is this? Yeah. That, that's when, that's when <laughs> everyone thinks they're getting me. They're like, look at this picture of Dana trying to kiss you. I'm like, yeah, that's Dana. Yeah. Some guy's like, oh, she really annoys me. I'm like, why? When like, you I could have said uh, Johnny, you know, because <laughs> Johnny gets yelled at on the phone <laughs> occasionally. But why does she piss you off? You know, oh, go up. Tell me that's not the funniest that's meme. Right. Yeah, the lead sing f scene from King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, if you're not, yeah, home, yeah, let me show you. Uh, go ahead, just explain it. I'm if just you're not, if you're up. at home and you're listening, you're not, you're not watching the video. It's basically King Kong <laughs> on the Empire State Building, but some people <laughs> are at a board meeting in the Empire State Building and they get the window that has King Kong's dick. Yeah, it's just mushed up against there, like a, <laughs> like against a shower window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is, John. Oh, here we go. That's it. Oh, yeah, we passed that. I saw that already. I didn't realize that was her. Hold on. You think that's not attractive? Go down, go down. No, I think that's I mean, hot. No, I just don't even. Is that real? Like, yeah, because she not she was not a big breasted woman at any point in her life. Like she must have had implants. I don't know, man, but I find that hot. No, she's not. She just doesn't. I wonder if that's real, dude. And like, my question. I mean, they're mon Those are like what double D's? Like yeah, those are some monsters. And by the way, like in like F's? women know. can't stop showing you their their their, their bits. Like it's it's not everybody's doing Look it. Look at that, right? I'm sorry, that's hot to me. No, it's not bad, you, Johnny. You're there's this wrong. new thing on Instagram where I discovered this with with the guys on the tour. Ah, uh, that women fake breastfeeding. They'll get a baby. They'll get like a fake baby, and they'll just fake like breastfeeding just so they can whip their nips out. Oh, so they? I got you. All right. I, she must have gotten like implants, dude, because she was not like that big of a person. Yeah, so I mean, she's a uh, yeah, Selena Gomez. Good for her. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Right? You're getting. She's getting into her black guy and older rich yeah. guy face, yeah. right? Yeah. That's who. That's for sure. Right? Yep. Right? That's who settles with that. She yep. looks like she can make you a mean burrito. Do you think Selena Gomez is a, is a good cook? I mean, she's been famous forever. There's Do you no think way. she There's cooks? There's no way she cooks. No. There's no way, she right? Hasn't, she hasn't t been in the kitchen in decades. So no so I do the shows. The shows were, were great. They were fun. I'm working on some new shit. I have this great new bit, Johnny, where I talk about my pronouns. Ask me what my pronouns are. Well, I talk about how I respect you? pronouns, yeah. Johnny. What, what are your pronouns? You want to know what my pronouns I are? I do, yeah. Real nigga. Those are my pronouns, okay? Idiot. Those are my... <laughs> and by the way, that crushes. It crushes. Every time I'm like, is today the day? Yeah. It all goes away and it crushes. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. You're so dumb. <laughs> it's funny, right? That's a yeah, funny, it's funny bit. No, it's funny, yeah. Because if we're going to play make-believe, let's play make-believe. It's not what I expected. Right. Um... So we go there, we, we, we get into, uh, Flagstaff's great, got some friends of mine, 
My friends, my friend wants me to. He's he's got this gi- giant plot of land in Arizona. He wants me to buy some anchors in. He what goes, are you gonna do it? I don't know, does man. It have, does it have water? Yeah, it's got water. It's got everything and a golf course. It used to be a golf course. I'm like, let's. It used to be a golf. Yeah, course? Yeah, they just let it go. Dude, I'd love to have my own golf course. Would you love to have your own golf oh, course? Dude, would I you just, move to Flagstaff? John? Of course, I would move yesterday. Yeah, you I would mean, I, for, a, for if I had my own golf course. That's all I do is like we'd be podcasting on the golf course, oh, right? You know, T Bow would move in. Oh, of course he would. Too. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, what about will we make guy? him? Will we make him local pro or local hobo? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> why not both? Yeah, not our both? local hobo pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you um, could live in the clubhouse. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Don't, you got, just don't, just don't leave any cigarettes. Cigarette you got you got you got to play around him wherever he <laughs> yeah. passes out. Yeah, play play him as he lies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play him as he passed out. <laughs> oh, oh that'd be the best, dude. Oh, so I go. Uh, I you know I really love. I really love. Dick. <laughs> I really love. So listen, dude. This saggy balls. We we were talking on the. So I went. Um, hold on a second, dude. Just hold on, dude. Be cool. You're having like a fight with your own your own brain right now. I, I really am because I have so much to talk about, but also so yeah. Much we haven't met in a couple weeks because I was away either, so. dude. Um, oh, you got some things you can't so, say. Huh? No, I went on the road with uh, Zane Helberg. Yeah. So Zane and I, he books, he just finds these crazy places for me to do shows, and I just yeah. sell my own tickets. It's it, I love it. A lot of times Rock I can make money. Comedy, yeah. Sometimes I, I just get a market that doesn't know me. It just happens. Yeah, but you know that for next time. Too yeah, much. yeah. I mean, like, so I'll get into, I'll get into, it, but so so we were driving, and you know. It was so funny because they were talking about the neural link, about mm-hmm. you know the first guy to get the neural link. Yeah, I, yeah, I had that on the news. Yeah. And, and and then the first thing he does is just like plays chess. Like, dude, if you in, if, in, in, in video games, like. if you would it, it, listen, if, if you were paralyzed and suddenly you could get some move, first thing you're doing is just like what hitting Pornhub, and what? then you're and then you're like getting on on, on cams, and <laughs> and you're just like getting on, you're just trying to solicit prostitution, right? Yeah. Finally, you can sol- finally, dude, technology's gotten to the place where you can solicit prostitution. Quadriplegics can solicit prostitution yeah, from the privacy of their own homes. Thank you, yeah. Elon Musk. That's what we've been thank building you. towards this whole time. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Elon Musk should get together with OnlyFans. Oh yeah. And be like <laughs> get paraplegics and OnlyFans come together. Because I've told you this, Johnny. I've told you this. What? That whenever you go to an adult film convention, okay, adult video convention, yeah. it's only guys in wheelchairs. That's all it is over there. <laughs> Just guys. Well, and you've also said that the ladies love those guys. They do. Yeah. Well, women love women. There's just this thing in their DNA. If they're they're hot and their whole existence is based on how hot they are, they have to hug a wheelchair guy. Yeah. Sometimes you get it's some like union rules or something. Right, like they have. Do they to. have a good union? The uh, the, the the super hot the, chicks, the, the super, super union, hot porn chicks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not just porn. The Instagram chicks, the ones who fake breastfeeding with fake babies just so they can see their nips. They should organize. They should organize, right? But then they would just outsell. Someone would just be like, "No, I'll do it cheaper." Yeah, we couldn't afford them if they organized. I'm afraid. Yeah, so so you, you know, know they had that that guy's browser history though. They had to delete that shit before he they recorded that video of him. You know, they're like, <laughs> he's just yeah. like how long do I have to play? These cam models are calling me. <laughs> yeah, you just hear in the background, ching ching <laughs> ching. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, we were talking about how like all technology Johnny it's something that you said that is, is actually someone else's quote and I don't remember who you said it is what? but it's the there's no biological yeah, shortcut yeah, it's like Tim Ferriss or somebody Tim yeah. Ferriss but you know you put in this neural link there's gotta be some side effects because even when you hear the pharmaceuticals they're always like and they're get, these side effects are getting really bad right like although I gotta say dude if you're quadriplegic in a fucking wheelchair like what? How much worse does it get? You know what, I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like talking about side effects. Like okay, yeah, right, right, right. What? Right. My dick's on fire. I, I can't feel. But what it. if? What if one of the side effects is homosexuality? Like it makes you a little gayer. <laughs> <laughs> and what? What? What if the only way you could charge it is through <laughs> slobbing knob and, and it only has a thirty minute, ba- a ninety minute battery? That could be a problem. <laughs> That could be a problem. You just have you to, can't move your arms. 
So you just have to open up a glory hole at your house and just get a line like a doctor's like, off. You spend like 30 minutes every day like arranging your wheelchair right up to the hole. You know, like, <laughs> until you can get perfectly aligned with the hole. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, that was funny. So anyway, speaking of gay, I... Uh, <laughs> you can't wipe your own face off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Can you imagine just having... Uh, I just really want to scratch my eyebrow, you know, and I can't do it. Can't do oh, it gets in your eye. You can't, uh, even, lift your, you can't even lift your arms. Uh, uh, Neuralink. <laughs> I need a, a Neuralink, like a, just a hose pipe right here. Just like <laughs> wash my face off. Poor guy. The poor guy. He seemed pretty happy about it. I, I would to be too, He was bro. thrilled. He I was, would be that guy was so happy. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, good for him. Good for him. Uh, um... um <laughs> what if like what if like if all all the like all the AI just gets super racist and anti-Semitic suddenly well, dude, his are. neural link just starts throwing Heil Hitler's <laughs> at everybody yeah yeah he can't what if it gets to the point because that's the idea right it puts you in some kind of suit yeah. where you can control with your brain and then you're just walking around Heil and Hitler and giving the finger to Asians you know <laughs> that would be great <laughs> That'd be the best. It, you know, they have you seen though? Like it was anti-Semitic for a while and racist and stuff. And then, but they've gone so far the opposite direction. There was a story this week that it refused to show the history, the historical achievements of white people. <laughs> yeah. So it would only show like right, black people looking cool. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just living in crazy times. Oh, yeah. so, so, anyways, right? I was I was in the elevator. Um, I, could, I forget what it was. I couldn't get my key going or. No, we just got, we I had gotten coffee. We were driving. I got to my hotel. I'm going up my my. It's so funny because like this area is the continental. It, it, where where are you in, no. in Tucson? Okay. And it's just like it is like the street where everybody goes to party, but it's it's not loud. Yeah, oh, super loud. Yeah. Like I, I dude, it's like I'm I'm being honest with you, man. It's like the hotel was great. The hotel. Was great, but it's just the nightclub next door is so loud, you can't fall asleep. It's so loud. So, anyways, I get an elevator, dude, and this shredded guy gets in with gay face, shredded. Uh -oh. And he's just looking at me, and then uh -oh. he looks down, and you know, he goes to me, he goes, Hey, you like coffee? And I'm like, Bro, try bread and better, okay? <laughs> I know I'm 51 and got no ass, but try a little harder. I'm not even gay, but you yeah. got to do better than that. Dude. That's, on, that's what, that, now I get why women hate pickup lines yeah. and they like kind of probably play with, okay, that's a shitty line, but go yeah, for it. Okay. No, yeah. no, dude, I'm not. If you're going to take a shot at the title, bro, okay? At least try. At least come up with something original, dude. Yeah. The guy just doesn't have You it. like coffee? <laughs> you like coffee. Because I got a coffee that cup tells here? You, actually, that tells you how low the standards are for guys, you know, for pickup lines. I mean, literally, he could have really just said, hey, you want your dick sucked? Yeah. But he, he put in the effort. No, but it's funny because, you, yeah, well, because you got to play the game, right? Yeah. You got to play you got the game. To, when it's a stranger. Anyway. Well, it's so funny. The only people that don't play the game are old Circus guys who just don't want to give a shit anymore. Yeah, that's true. Or if you're in like Circus of Books, you know, down in West Hollywood, then then it's just like <laughs> just throwing. You like books? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's like that time I told you where I was walking. Um, I, I went to a meeting in West Hollywood, and I was mm. walking around with my Dodger hat on, and this guy's like, "Hey, dude, nice hat." <laughs> where'd you get that? I go, "Where'd I get this Dodger hat in Los Angeles?" Try harder, bro. So it's so dumb. That was like that guy that tried to pick me up one time by saying he lost his keys under his car. He's like, could you help me look for my keys under my car? And then I walked over there. Kind of got it was late at night. And he goes, <laughs> Hold on, you were gonna help him? I know well, you told no, no, the story. No, no, no. I kind of walked a little close to him because I could he was looking. And then, Where's and then my, dude, I've been doing this without my hat. Where's my hat? Right before I got there, he goes, Are you on grinder? <laughs> and I'm like, No, no, dude, I'm out. Oh I'm man, out. I've been doing this without I, my hat. I don't I haven't seen your hat. Oh, it must Put be on in your, my car. Uh, Oh, pure retro Colorado hat over there. If you want to, from that guy, that guy gave us this. Nintendo oh, is my hair okay, Johnny? Or this week in conspiracy? We yeah, have give me. Hat. Oh, it fits this. How crazy is that? It fits the colors. Oh, it does actually perfectly. Yeah, there you go. And oh, my, my. And my. Uh, look at this, dude. We all match. John, yeah, dude. We're all super camo, bro. We're super camo. We're that gray now. camo. How's oh, that, that, that looks good. John? Yeah, that looks good. No, that, that looks good. Should I make it a little tighter? Can you see? Hold on, I'll turn it around. Because I didn't comb my hair. No, it's a good look. 
No, your hair look good, dude. You got good hair. Johnny, you're it's blessed. thinning, dude. You're blessed, though. It's thinning. The top is thinning. You're 50 something, bro. That's I know, happen. but that doesn't mean I like it. No, you don't have to. But I'm saying it still looks good for Thank like. You. Thank you. Thank 40. you. Thank I mean, you. You're, you're Thank you. I appreciate that, Johnny. I pre so you swarthy bastards. So this are is gonna be a weird hair. thing because I want to say this. You coming out finally? Huh? Here we go. Finally, <laughs> listen. I want to say this, and I'm gonna do this with all love. Because this guy was a big fan of mine. So so this guy, so I'm at the show. And, we're, you know, so I do my first show. And I, I, I hadn't been, I hadn't been in Tucson in over two years. So I had a lot of material they hadn't heard. So, you know, because it's hard to go through twice. And then you're like, oh, fuck. They've already heard all this. Yeah. So you constantly got to keep writing. I, I would say, Johnny, right now, based on, I, I, I recorded my special, what, two weeks ago, maybe? Yeah. A little over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have right. probably another 15 to 20 minutes. No shit. Wow. Yeah, I've been just cranking shit out. Has it been what you thought it would be, that kind of more family-oriented stuff? Or no. No. <laughs> I've tried so hard, and That's it so just doesn't work. And at some point, you just got to be like, what are you? You are who you are. You Absolutely. are who you are, and I'm like a weirdo. You're lucky to have found that, though. So many people struggle for that for years and years 100%. And years, yeah. I mean, like, I'm going to try to do little things here and there, but... So I'm doing the show. The show goes great. The sec In between the shows, we're having these... Um, I have the meet and greet. We take a lot of pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny. Like, you know, yeah, you, people tweeted a lot of pictures uh, at me that you took with people. And, you know, you could always tell, like, if there's a lot of guys who love me that their wives are like, I'm just coming along. I don't know who you are. <laughs> he, won't, he won't stop listening to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, so I do this show and, um, uh, I meet this, you know, afterwards there was a guy there. It was his wife's birthday. Uh, she's, he said she had stopped smoke. She just started to learn to smoke pot. So they're, they're smoking pot now. Learned to smoke pot? She just, she just started getting into smoking pot. Okay. She didn't do it before. I see. But she, she was smoking pot. And, yeah. uh, the, so we're hanging out. The, the second show is about to start. So the second show starts. Everybody's just chilling. So this guy's there, and I see somebody walk. I see somebody walk out of this, this um, out of it was in like a movie theater, and they walk out of the lobby, and then the guy, the husband of the woman who just started smoking pot, he follows her, and then something happens where I see him clip his foot, and he just goes, "Boom!" No hands out to catch himself. Oh no. And I go, oh, and I'm like, okay, that you know, he'll he'll pick himself up. He just lays there. <laughs> what the fuck? And we're just all staring at each other. He clipped his own foot or somebody else? He clipped his okay. own foot. And bang, he lays there. And he keeps laying there. Oh no. And he keeps laying there. Some people died. Dude. And I'm like, I'm like, did somebody just die at my shell? Yeah, that's how people I die. mean, I love killing, but I don't want somebody to die. <laughs> you are a killer. So I walk, I walk up and now I'm seeing blood. Oh, I'm like, ah, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, looking around. Nobody's calling anybody anything. Nobody's like, dude, I'm like, what's going on? So I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. We got to get his wife. We got to get his wife. So I go, Where, whoa, where's his wife? They're like, she's inside. So I go get him. Is I she a doctor? Cause <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> so they crazy. go. So they go, they go inside, he gets her. He's still laying down. Oh my God, dude. Then he starts to lift himself up and he's like wheezing like someone just clocked him, dude. And it was just like, really? I was like, oh dude, it's okay. Don't move, don't move. Yeah. He starts throwing up right there. Throwing up? Throwing up with blood, lays in it. Oh my and I'm God. like, what is that? Dude, it's like, this is like saw just happened right in the oh lobby of my God. show. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Dude? I'm like, what is going on? And nobody's oh. called the ambulance yet. Oh, because everyone's freaking. I know that the people who run the place, like, oh my god, do we have insurance? Are we gonna get sued? Oh, yeah, let's say this happened on the sidewalk. Yeah, I'm like, call the dude. It was so. He's like, th more. It's like, it sounds like Team America. You know where they just all start vomiting. That's what it dude, sounds that's like. That's exactly what it was. Oh. And I felt so bad because you know he's a big fan of mine. 
And I just wanted to let him know that this is exactly how I celebrated my 21st birthday, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this happened to me on my 21st birthday. I clipped myself. And, dude, I was so drunk that I couldn't even put my hands out to catch myself. Uh, and I just went face first into the ground. So was he shit-faced? Is that what this is? Uh, I think, think it was. Okay. I think it was a combination of that. Oh. <gasps> But it was crazy, dude. What happened? And then we're just... Someone grabbed somebody's purse, put it right in the thing for his head. It was like the craziest shit I've ever a seen. Purse? We couldn't like, take a t-shirt off and we put somebody's purse in there? Yeah, they were taking the t-shirts they bought from me. I'm like, do you guys want to ruin these shirts? These are really nice shirts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Put, put her Chanel purse in there. Instead, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was... Cr and then people are just trying to go in and buy drinks and just stepping over him. I'm like, stepping wait, <laughs> where's our humanity? <laughs> He's fine. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, dude, that's dude, some dangerous shit, though. The some, head injuries, that's man. That's some dangerous shit. Oof. That's disgusting. Did he, he fucked his mouth up and everything? He or what? fucked his mouth up, everything, Damn, dude. Oh, what else is that? Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. That's, that's good. disgusting. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing. You painted a real image there. It kind of grossed Thank you, out. Johnny. That's what I try to do on this show. I'm painting images. Ugh. I'm painting images. Uh, shout out to you, whoever you are. I hope you're uh, Shout recovering out to well. you, whoever you are. So, so then Johnny, uh, that was that was Tucson. We get in the car, we drive. It's a four hour drive. I don't mind driving. I love driving. I love it. I can Especially zone out. I, I like get that. to hang out with the guys. I don't have any responsibility. It's fucking great. We're driving. We get to El Paso, and El Paso is a really interesting city. It's kind of out there, right? It's like out there, dude. It's literally on the border. Yeah. And it literally looks like, Johnny, every single, and I'm saying this with respect, mm -hmm. El Paso has the look of every video game that is post-apocalyptic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because you walk around, dude, and there are giant buildings empty, like whole buildings like, we could go there and just turn a building into a studio. We could have a different studio for every show. It would probably cost us 500 bucks because there's nothing. It's the Dude, you're like, where are the... See, this is the problem, man. It's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't sell a ton of tickets in, in El Paso. That's Sounds this. Like nobody was there. That's, a, that's what happens sometimes. You're like, I'm supposed to get people here when there's nobody here. Where are the people supposed to come from? They've all been deported. I mean, dude, and then, listen, the shows were great. The crowd was there was the nicest. They were all great. They're like, you're going to come back? I'm like, I got to figure out how to yeah, sell some yeah, tickets. You might here. have to drive to Tucson. But they were really great. You might have to drive to Tucson. But it was great. And, and like, but man, it was crazy, dude. So I walk into my hotel. The guy at the front, literally in the f at the at the desk, has a teardrop tattoo <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? What is this, dude? That's so funny. Oh my god, am I gonna get murdered? And that was a. I'm like, dude, if I leave my hotel room, is there gonna be a squatter in there? Like, just taking over my hotel room? You mean like that video that was going around of that guy's like, we're sitting in homes of white people, bro. We're taking them over. Now, did you see that he got his his uh, TikTok taken away? Oh, really? Interesting. And he's just like holding a baby, crying about it, and his like snot's coming out. About getting his TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's like look at look at. I think he's got to be like that guy's got to be like uh, a, a LARP. Yeah, it's it's either a LARP or he's like bipolar. Yeah, it's one of the two. I think I think it probably is a, like he's an actor though. Uh, I don't even know how to look for that. What, what's his uh, go uh, TikTok squatter video loses suspended on TikTok. This is a screenshot. Oh look, oh yeah, look at him. Oh, what is coming out of your nose? Wipe your nose. nose. And it's so funny, they, 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 they... Capici. Capici. Yeah. Videos. Let me see if he's been banned. Mi gente, well, this is the original. I have thought about invading a house in the United States. Ya que me I found out there is a law una ley que dice que si una casa that says that if a house is not inhabited, we can seize it. Anyway, he basically he just says that he's found out about this uh, squatters' rights law and that he's like, encouraging Hispanics. What is that Hispanics. law? What is that law? Like, why would you make that law? Well, I think it's a relic from like the old West days where people would have homes and shit, 
that would be abandoned when they would, you know, just leave, give up the life or whatever. And people would, you know, and then that property would just be sitting there abandoned, I assume. So then they would be like, well, if you go and live in it and take care of it and improve it, because they wanted people to go out west. Well, yeah, like in Detroit, right? There's all these houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody take them over. Something like that. It it was like that, but for like, I think probably like probably old west or, you know, when people were first moving out here and it was a hard life and a lot of people gave up. Uh, you know, if you were willing to invest your time and money into repairing a place and make your life there, yeah. Get, but it's not. It's just shit. That's still, it's like these blue laws that are still in the books. Like you can't buy liquor on Sundays in lots of the states, like North Carolina, South Carolina. Right. It's just for you know. Indianapolis used to be ago. like that forever. You couldn't buy booze on a on a Sunday. And I'm doing stamp. I'm like, why am I here right now? Yeah. No. It, and it's just a relic from the old days. Uh. And it, oh, here's the new video. Okay. Here we go. Here's this idiot. Look at this. Mi familia va a quedar sola en Estados Unidos, mi amigo. What is going out of your nose, bro? I think it's a lark. Póngase la mano a la obra. <laughs> it's so I don't crazy, like that. dude. That baby there. I don't like but that. But it's so crazy because, like, in this world of going viral, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. No. You just want to go viral. No, it's just the numbers. There's no negativity. It's all numbers, right? It's all about that paper, dude. It's all about that paper, Johnny. You say that every time. The You're Skrilla. known for saying that. It's the Skrilla. You really are, dude. It's the Skrilla in Manila. So that's about it, Johnny. That was that was my. I had a couple other stories, but then it was just like it's crazy how. First of all, Uber is getting so expensive, dude. It sure is. Man. It's like ridiculous it's now. Unbelievable. Like a fifteen. I, I went the airport in El Paso was fifteen minutes from my from my hotel. It was forty dollars. I've been doing Lyft more, man. I know they're not as good, but why? Uh, why aren't they just as the good? The cars are always shitty, and they let like, oh really? Cars in. It's yeah. like nine nine cent version. Yeah, it they let shittier. But cars. The, is it cheaper? Because I'll do it's, that oh, tomorrow. It's just way cheaper. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like get the fuck out of here, yeah. Uber. You know what they'll do too? They'll find out. I guarantee you, bro. They're doing some illegal shit because Uber in the past, we know they spied on you and stuff like that. I you'll you'll go to Lyft and then go back to Uber and Lyft. I mean, Uber will get cheaper. Because they know you just popped in the Oh, ah, really? I, I really think that's a thing, dude. It's yeah. on, bitch. And plus, I own stock, so stop treating your owners like shit. Yeah, and and you can what well, you can get into Uber too, and then when you first look at it, if you wait, it'll just keep going up and up and up. Because they they want you to put that pressure on you, you know, like to to go ahead and book the their Ubers. Those are those are some fucks right there, dude. They're manipulating. Uh, they're leveraging all the technology to pressure you to. Yeah, for sure. You know they're trying to squeeze every dollar out of you. I don't. I don't trust Uber. But it's like it's it's, it's so crazy because like I would take Uber, and um, it, it's like it's crazy how these Uber drivers will give away family secrets when they're driving with you because <clears throat> they feel like they're never going to see you again. Yeah, they just like they just it's like a a, a therap a, a disposable therapist. Yeah. And you just end up like talking them off the ledge. What do you put when it comes up? Do you put for like conversation preference? Do you put no preference or do you say you want to talk or you don't? Dude, Johnny, I got a 4.89 and I'm trying to get it into the 90s because I don't know what I did. What is my Uber rating? I'm, I'm a so four, I'm a 4.9. Of course. I know you are because you're a suck ass. That's why. No, I just always tip. I always tip. Okay. I always tip as good as I can tip. I don't suck ass, and I barely ever talk. You right. suck ass, dude. I'm a four nine seven. Four nine seven. Yeah. In the motherfucking place, dude. Four nine seven. That's some That's bullshit. Right. How do you get a four nine seven? Oh no no! I see. This is how the, this is how your rating is calculated. You ready? Yeah. Short wait times. Driver love drivers love it when riders are ready to go when they arrive. So if you make your driver wait, your that's how your star rating goes down. Courtesy, just being courteous. I'm always that ready. is such and then safety, bullshit. They want you to that be safe. That is such bullshit. You making them wait too long? You think like with your like bag, like you're if you're in bag. a hotel? Well, you I mean like and you're dealing with shit. Like uh, hey, dude, I'll never, be right there. I'm always ready. Okay, you're gross. All <laughs> right, so that's it, Johnny. I uh, I thought I had more. I didn't. But uh, that oh yeah, the final story is oh yeah. I, I love my uh, I love my kids. I got um I got a message today from my uh. From one of the the teachers in my school, uh, my one of my daughters has a new student in her class. Guess what his name is? Couldn't possibly guess. Uh, Take a guess. Osama. God. 
God, sham God. God. <laughs> Just God. There's a, there's what, a kid did out they, there. Did they put an announcement out? Yeah, like, hey, yeah. God, let's God welcome God to our... And I was like, oh, dude, that's great. God's back in the classroom. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Finally. Finally. The Christians will be thrilled I was going to make a joke about that, but then I think I, I would get in trouble because it's... That's very funny. No, yeah, should, but I it's like, like that. that's true. God is in God is in my daughter's class now. Finally, finally in California, we won the battle. <laughs> yeah, after all these years. Yeah, but what if Jesus came through like the autistic classes? Like suck on this guy. And we, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we wouldn't know about it till later. Yeah, hey, <laughs> that's why you got to be uh, nice to everybody. Yeah, be nice to everybody. Respect on that. You never know. Respect on that. So that's it. That was my that was my week or two weeks. Some weeks we have a lot. Yeah, it's been a while since we talked. huh? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you, you want know, to do? Hey, now? you know, the last time we were we met, we uh, we sang uh, "Behind Blue Eyes" together. You know, no one knows what it's like. No one. And then knows. on a whim, I found out right next to my hotel, the Who was playing at Royal Albert Hall. Oh and yeah. I went to see the Who. Oh, Johnny, in you England. were. That's so funny, Johnny. I was in El Paso, and you were in. Uh, London, London France, could not yeah. be more different to cities. Yeah, not, not different. Could yeah, not, not be a, more nothing different. Nothing alike. Yeah. El Paso is great. Guys, real quick, before we get it, uh, keep going, I, I got to tell you guys, I got dates coming up. I'm uh, going to be in Florida this weekend. Bang, bang, Saturday night, one one night, two shows. Uh, one's a, uh, a conspiracy comedy podcast, second one's stand-up comedy, and then uh, I have Comedy Chaos coming up. I got all these dates. I'm going to be in uh, Plano, Texas coming up. Damn, Plano's going to be sooner than later. Then uh, Aurora, then I'm going to be in, at some uh, cabin in Wisconsin. Go down a little bit. Is that up yet? That should be up. Yeah. But, oh, no, it's not up yet. Okay. I, I, these guys got to get them dates up. But go check. Go to samtribbly.com. Hit events. See me live. By the way, I finally watched the Taylor Swift. Uh, Why? Concert? Well, because Dana sh shot concerts forever. She did, did a lot of famous concerts okay. she shot. And you want to watch that, though? Well, she watched it. My daughters are young, so okay. we had it on. And listen, as a performer, like I like to see how performers are doing. And as a performance, you learn a lot from this is amazing. It's amazing. What I also find amazing about it is how she's really good at surrounding herself with action. As she like she basically does yeah. does she the robot dance. everywhere. Yeah, she can't dance. It's so great. And yeah. if you study. It, it's almost some weird Oprah Winfrey thing. Do you you remember when Oprah Winfrey you couldn't be more attractive, oh, and yeah, you had to yeah. be bigger than her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She only hired fatties. So if you study some of Taylor Swift's move. dancers, they're it's very interesting. They're they're. She's not bad though. She's not like bad. She's better than Oprah. Yeah, because she's she's younger. Oh, Listen, are you saying they're, they're uglier than her or worse at dancing? They're 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 older than her. Oh, she see. has okay. much older dancers. I got it. Yeah. And listen, I, I don't I don't hate Taylor Swift. I'm not like a hate Taylor Swift hater. Mm -hmm. I hate the gaslighting of uh, we have to like her exactly. by yeah. sports people. It's like no, we don't. I mean, like it's just crazy to me. Like ESPN and all them. It's just like we're the consumer. You should be playing to our yeah. desires, not like forcing this down. They take us for granted. They're they're reaching for another market, women and, and which and yeah, and they're destroying girls. their own market exactly. But and they're women taking are us never, for granted. Yeah. Women are never going to enjoy sports the way men enjoy. No, because they have their own sports. It's called reality TV, and Those it's called TV shopping, yeah. and it's called dating. No, but women love these reality TV competitions, dude. Like, uh, like uh, there's one called uh, Oh the the Traders now that's huge. Women love that show. What's the Traders about? It's just like uh, okay, it's a group of people in a house, and then secretly at the beginning of the game, a few of them are picked to be traitors, and then the rest of the group has to figure out who all the traitors are before the end of the game. Uh, and the traitors, like, every day go and kill somebody out of the group. Like, just come in at night and say, hey, you're out. Fuck you. Uh, and if they figure out who all the traitors are by the end of the game, then they all split the money. But if they don't, then the couple traitors, they split the money. Just the two of two or three of them. They get a lot more of it. So And women, dude, women love that game. Big Brother, all that shit. That's, they do. that's sports for women, though. That's their sport. Uh, listen, I have to watch my mouth because I love women. I think they're amazing. Of course. I do, yeah. Right? They are we all love women. cultural terrorists, okay? <laughs> they're cultural terrorists, right? Like, I mean, just yeah. name me yeah, yeah. 
G- and I'll answer this. Outside of John Mayer, what mm-hmm. is the female dominated consumption culturally that is seen as incredibly full of depth and, and, and uh, skill? What is the thing that they love that is just, you're like, wow. That's real. Yeah, it's like high quality depth. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't name it. I couldn't name it. It's all just shallow, like sentimental shit, like the notebook well, and all that. It's just like shiny object shit, right? Yeah. Like or, super. Or, or, sh- or crime. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, crime, yeah. Right, 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 right. I mean, no. we're going to lose all the women on this show. We're, 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 do no, all five of them. It's okay. I mean, we, and guys like dumb shit too. We like sports yeah, that but are you probably can't, fixed. You can't get okay. mad at us talking like this when you have the view. Yeah, exactly. Which right is when just you all have about- all these daytime talk shows going the uh, the exact opposite way. Well, Trevor Bauer can't get a job in baseball. I, mean, I do. They still can't, dude. Kenny, did you see? Did you see this? Brett McMurphy was uh, or Brett McHenry. Brett McHenry, sorry, is tweeting this today. Did you see this? Uh, hold on. Um, she's going uh, on Trevor Bauer. I know and have evidence of another woman who privately DM'd me what she endured. No proof or anything. Uh, she spoke directly to MLB front offices. He is not, quote, innocent. He will not play in MLB again. Stop trying to champion an abuser. Uh, then she goes, men siding with a dude who, can't, who won't who will play in the MLB again. Why do you think any team hasn't signed him? What possibly could the league offices know? Hmm. See, I, I hate this right here. Either come out with it. Yeah, say, say it. what it is. Say what or it shut is. shut up. And, and, and what exactly is it? I mean, we've... It's just like it's not fair. Though. We've not gotten fair. away. We've gotten away. It's like it's just weird. It's just a weird thing to talk about because you have this, which gives you no specifics, okay? And and like it's literally gotten away from he he took sex from me to it would just it, after we did it, I'm uncomfortable or or she, I'm trying to get the bag and all that. Scam artist, yeah. I mean that, like, dude. It's so like it's it's my problem with Candace Owens, her whole take on uh to uh making of a murderer. Yeah, and he's like, I believe he did it, and this is why I go. The problem with your argument is we literally have a fact of that they framed him for something else he mm-hmm. didn't do, mm-hmm. and that the people who framed him for that framed uh, were involved in the framing of and this. Had a huge incentive to do it again. Right, right. So incentive. it's like, what are you doing? I'm, gonna, I'm pulling up this clip I sent you the other day because it ties in. I uh, was watching, because my girl was watching, this show called The Diplomat. And it's it's not great, but there's this scene in it where the main character, a female, is, uh, for not a great reason, really, just that he's frustrating her and kind of annoying oh, yeah, her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Beating the shit out of her husband. Yeah, like properly beating his ass, and this is not a comedy. This show's not a comedy. It's a little funny, and but it's a it's a drama, and it gets played for comedy in a way that you just never see in a million years, if it if the roles were reversed. Uh, and so I was trying to see on the internet if anybody else was annoyed about this, and there were some people. And then on Reddit, I found a group that was like saying, "Yeah, this is pretty shitty. I can't believe this." Uh, but it was kind of a liberal take on it. You know, it was mostly left people. And if you get down into it, they're like, you know, this bothers me. But you know what really pisses me off is all the men doing our jokes. Yeah, yeah. That just really, yeah, that's yeah, what we need yeah, to be worried yeah, about. You yeah. know? And then they started arguing yeah, about that. Yeah. It's like, I mean, what are we what When are we you doing? show me, okay, when you show me, all right, that you, uh, you, you really hate it, that you're going to tell... You're going to tell women to stop doing the jokes. I'll know you're serious. Until then, I'm going to enjoy the jokes. Okay? Here's this video. Watch this. They're just making light of his joking about his black eye. By the way, you know that happened to me, right? What? So back in the early, uh, I'd say about 93 or 94, I dated this gorgeous woman. She was gorgeous. And she... She was drunk one time, and she was on top of me. I asked her to get off me. I lifted up, and I watched her face go from, and just like this demon came over, and she kicked me in the face. You got hurt, right? My tooth went through my lip. Oof. And I, I, I remember going to her, go, if there was ever a time I could get a free shot in a chick, it's right now. <laughs> and I didn't. 
Because why I'm, did she? Why would she do? Was she drunk? She was. She's a little drunky monkey. But, but why did it make her mad? I don't. It's just weird. She's got rage issues. Yeah, that's why she was great in bed because she was yeah, crazy. Course, yeah. <laughs> She's freaking crazy, right? So, so the next day I have to call in to work because I have a giant scar on my face. Ugh. I had to go get it stitched. That's the mouth stuff is the worst. Injuries is and, and I go to my I go to my office. I, I call in. Can't do that. They Your didn't, office. Where were you? Uh, I was not the office. I call the office at the restaurant, which was I believe. P.F. Chang's at the time. <laughs> I, call, I called up the, the, uh, the off the top floor where I worked. I mean, at the P.F. Chang's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you want, bro? <laughs> it's funny how you went from the office to the Dude, P. I Chang's. used to love P.F. Chang's. Oh, yeah. Are they yeah, still dude. around? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like they expanded and then they just went no, away. they're still around. That's good food. I love P.F. Chang's. I got Chang's. no hate for that, bro. The, 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 the lettuce cups. You know what the, the best food I had was in, in Europe, honestly, was this place called Paris Baguette. And I, I thought, boy, that's a weird name, Paris Baguette. You know how Bill Hicks has this old joke about orange drink, about how the British and the like, the Asian stuff, they just can't come up with names. People that grow up in those socialist kind of, they're bad at naming things. They don't have that creative spark. And it turns out Paris Baguette, not a French company, it's a Korean bakery, which is the number one bakery in P Korea. It's huge in Korea. And they're all over England. We got like four of them here in L.A., I found out. They make the best baguettes and like uh baked baked goods and stuff it's amazing dude and it's uh but, best food i had in but the koreans can't come up with good names no I, I mean it's called paris baguette it's literally a city and a piece of bread oh I mean, you know all uh, i could think of one of the locals not even parisian not like french baguette it's paris ba a city it'd be like france roll you know that would be the name of the place i think it's a terrible I, name Petros and Money, who does uh, drive home on Sports Talk in L.A. Still listen to radio. Huh? I, I I do. I don't. I, I I don't listen to them as much as I used to because they got they got really crazy with the va va the the Jacksonations, oh, like yeah. guilting people. I'm like, okay, you guys are funny, but yeah, not that you guys funny. are yeah yeah yeah. Nobody's that funny. Yeah, Vax. they have a segment where they uh you I think it's either is it a korean pop song or a name of a tv show and they're like they're so bad yeah. they're like guy who wears blue yeah. that's the name of their show it's weird, dude. right it's, they're weird lady who it. loves too many men that will be the name of their their yeah. their, 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 their their tv show yeah, well you know in china at least i think a big i was thinking about this after watching three body problem is that during the great cultural revolution everyone tell me to watch that it's good during the Great Cultural Revolution, they just killed off all the creatives, all the artists and stuff. They wiped them out. They lost it all. Which is it's a your, big, big it's your airport thing. You're always they got rid of all the the thinkers. I yeah. I think that's possible. It's going to happen here too. Yes, yeah, you're going to get rid of a lot of certainly. anybody with an opinion. Three body uh, problems, good though. Yeah, did you know? And you're the one who told me about it. I I'd read about it, but you finally convinced me to watch it. Is this Shogun, dude? This this show's so good. Oh my god. Are you enjoying it? Shana? Oh, dude, I love, I, it, dude. I love it. I love it. Like the actors are, I, I sent you this text. I'm like, dude, there's so many actors on the show I've never heard of that are great. It's like Game of Thrones. All Johnny, over. I was just having a conversation with somebody. Who did I just have the conversation with? That story. Oh, Johnny, we just talked about it. The story that the oh yeah we already talked about it, it hasn't come out yet but basically the story that they're using for Shogun oh, is right. the same story that they use this old story that John Smith stole. Yeah, it's so good. It's the yeah. exact same story. Yeah, it is. Yeah, dude, that guy by the way is so good. That plays that white guy. He's like Tom Hardy, isn't he? Like he reminds me of early Tom Hardy. You know that gravelly voice. They're so good. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, if you haven't seen Shogun, check it out. You'll get it spoiled. Uh, but if you don't, if you don't wait, I mean, if you wait till I mean, dude, just brutal the way. They, oh, it's so violent. Like everyone acts like uh, white people are the brutal ones. It's like bro. these guys are ready to just kill their babies because they set talked out of order. I mean, like, like what are how we crazy about? is that? I kill me and my 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 son, and the mom's like, nope. And then the mom was like, I'll kill myself. They're like, don't do it. They're like, just the they baby. They end up killing the baby anyway. Yeah, it's like, oh, what? I mean, I don't know. That's that's a different way of thinking, isn't it? But isn't it always weird though? But like, I mean, like slowly but sure. I have you watched all? I mean, it's no, like, no, I'm not. I'm only on. Uh, I'm, I'm in the fourth episode. Yeah, but it's like it's like 
she's falling for him, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? It's like the, they she's always beautiful. love the bad guys, right? The oh, bad yeah. Yeah, Like, yeah. even if... Man, what would you do, Johnny, if you were French and you saw all your women dating the Nazis? <laughs> well, I mean, that would, that would suck, wouldn't it? I'd have to go bone English chicks, I guess. I don't know. Wouldn't that be weird? I'd be very upset about that, dude. Not cool. All right, so... Uh, you want to hit some news? News, 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 news. Yeah, I hit some news. Did you see this story? Uh, this story is insane. Okay. This go. guy was seen walking around carrying a severed body part in L.A. Yeah, I heard about this. And what happened was... I had heard that he might be like a cannibal. He was trying to eat it. But he found a severed body part from a train accident and just started carrying it around, apparently possibly trying to eat it, is what I heard. And here's the most interesting part. This is the second time this has happened in a couple of months in L.A. Another time, not two months ago, a guy was seen carrying around a severed body part from a train accident. I was dropping off my kids today, and uh, I was in the back alley area where, where I, I give them to their mom. And, dude, there was a situation in which some... And this is what always makes me laugh about the trans movement. There was a, an insane trans person just going nuts down the street. And it's like, I remember when I would be in recovery a couple of years ago, I, I go into these meetings and you would just see people that went too deep on drugs <laughs> and they, yeah. they're they gone and they're just not there. Yeah. And they're just, they look possessed. Yeah. And no. that and that's what this guy looked like running down. Like he was so far gone. And I just was like, there's no hope in his eyes anymore. And it's like, you can get sober, but it's like, that guy's real. So when I, when I saw this it's like video. like Sid Barrett, right? Like, he just off the deep end. When, yeah. I, when I saw that video, I go, that guy is so deep. Like, this is what, this is what the, 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 the insane asylums are for. Yeah. For people that are just so gone from reality, most likely through trauma that has happened to them in their life. Like, that's why I have feelings for these people, because- they probably were very much abused as children that the light is out of their eyes. And then it's like so hard to get back to humanity's gone. Yeah. yeah. Have you noticed? And I, I, my theory is that it's them getting ready for the Olympics, but that they're cleaning up a little bit around LA. Like, have you noticed like the streets where it was bad? I've been kind of, well, I also, yeah, I do. And I think that, I think that's a good point. I mean, they didn't, did they really do too much for the Super Bowl, which I feel like is, just as big as the Olympics at this point. So, yeah. but I feel like, I feel like they feel like they're losing the, the, their base. I think it might be the election actually is what they're. I do. I think yeah. they feel like they're losing their base and it's, it's just super interesting to me that we haven't, I, I think they realize, I really do believe this, that they know LA and San Francisco. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let me say this right. What? I'm starting to realize this. That the center of a lot of power is in in uh, L.A., right? San Francisco and New York City, you think, too, with, 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 with like with Wall Street. But they seem to have this really concerted, concentrated effort to, like, demoralize those cities. Like, demoralize them to the point, knock on wood, that we quite haven't seen it here, thank God. Like, it's not as crazy. The way Newsom talks, though, is definitely demoralizing about San Francisco. About, yeah, we could clean this up at any time. We're going to do it because uh, these well, Chinese he literally people are... goes, He goes, yeah, yeah, I know a lot of you guys think we only clean this up because, you know, he's here. And, you know, the truth is, you're right. And it's like, and everybody thought, everyone thought he was going to do a joke, and he, no. then he just said it. Yeah. And everyone's like, What's the more demoralizing than that? Yeah, but I don't know why they haven't done it to the level in L.A. that they that it seems to be. I think L.A. is a little more complicated than San Francisco politically. Or how you, about New York? You got the area, you know, you got like Orange County and stuff, and that's a whole different political ball game once you get outside it's, the city. It's it's interesting, dude. But there's a demoralization campaign going on, and like what they're doing right now, dude, is they're getting you okay with it for things. That you'll accept it for it. Meaning like, hey, dude, we've shown you all these videos uh, of the subway getting out of control. Hey, dude, let's send out the National Guard. Yeah, send yeah, send them in. Yeah. You're like, now yeah, you got yeah. boots on the ground. And you're accept and then you got the Santis in Florida. He's an R. He's not a D. He's an R. And he's like, we got to send the National Troop in for Texas. Shit. 
Four, no, four, yeah, you're right, that too. No, dude. I mean, look, we, this is in the news right here. This is what I was going to bring up, this video from Texas that Trump By the way, oh, Johnny, that wasn't the story I forgot to tell you. So I'm doing Tucson, and this guy's like, hey, dude, you're going to Tucson? Are you going to El Paso? I go, yeah. yeah. He goes, good luck. I go, why? He goes, you didn't see what's happening? He goes, Armageddon, and he's talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll just show the video really quick, and then I'll show the hilarious and brilliant shit that Donald Trump's been doing. The video from El Paso, Texas, shows a hectic scene nice. at the Look southern at border. Hundreds she is hot, right? She sure is. Hot black. I'm in. Fencing in nice. an attempt to enter the country. As CBS News' Jared Hill reports, it comes as Texas' unprecedented immigration law remains in, in legal limbo. <laughs> Look at this. New response this is crazy. To a along the it looks border. like they're playing tug Could of war, right? right? Yeah, Republican with guys with semi-automatic rifles, fully automatic rifles. I was breaking down a wire fence and pushing past Texas National Guard soldiers trying to get into El Paso. The state's governor, Greg Abbott, posted on social media. I didn't know he was in a wheelchair until like two weeks ago. Yeah. Instructed to arrest every illegal immigrant involved for criminal trespass and destruction of Obviously. Property. They are being misinformed by the transnational criminal organizations. They come all this way thinking that BSI 36 is a legal point to enter the country illegally, and it is not. The moment of chaos along the, the border in El Paso. Oh, does this look that. like World War Z? Yeah, it does. Legislation, yeah. SB4 remains caught up in the courts. The Department of Justice argues The only way they SB4 figure it out, though, back in, in Mexico is if the people get sent back and tell other people, like, hey, this ain't the way to go, man. They ain't letting us in anymore. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? That's I mean, the only like, way dude, that works. I'm sorry. It's terrible. But it's, I mean, what do you want, man? It's not, we just can't. Uh, eventually, our country, our borders become meaningless if, if people can just waltz on up here. Have you seen what, he, what Trump's been doing on his Instagram with that footage, dude? It's so funny, dude. Like he just keeps posting these uh look like like these memes. Look at that. It's Biden rolling out the red By carpet. By the way, for them. I, do you love uh Biden's sneakers, yes. dude? He's got the yeah. super base that like balance him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got these huge black uh sneakers. Look at this. It's so like I mean, it's brilliant, man. It's uh, it's Biden eating ice cream while that's going on in the background. It's kind of green screen. Do you see up. like so Here something's on going beach. on with True Social where they say he's gonna make all this money? Then I think the stock went down. Yeah, I got an email that they were merging or they had sold it or something. I got an email from True Social saying that it was being sold. I don't, I don't know what the reality is of that. Let me check it out really quick. See if there's any news on it. Truth Social stock. Did it go down? Because someone said it was like... Uh, Trump's Truth Social company completes merger that could net him over $3 billion, which I, I know why he wants that money, because uh, he might have to pay the state of New York by Monday, like $400 million or something like that, which is insanity. Um, have you seen this story about how South Koreans in, or Koreans in LA are ruining golf here? This is the reason I stopped playing golf is because you can't get a tee time. It's impossible. South Koreans. Well, I mean, it's Koreans. Yeah, I mean, they're all from South Korea. Uh, and the story is unbelievable. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's kind of confirmed everything we all thought about uh, uh, golf in L.A. Because you just can't get a tee time in L.A. It's impossible. And, and there have been, among Koreans... These, and here, here's the story. If you play golf, you may have noticed how hard it is to get a tee time on public courses in L.A. It is so difficult that we're told some golfers use tee time brokers. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay has more details, including what the city plans to do. What? Golfers say the odds of getting a tee time at an L.A. City public golf course are the same as getting a hole in one. Tea time. And let me just say, uh, the country clubs in like where you could actually get a tea time if you could afford to pay it for a country club are the most expensive I've ever seen. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year if you want to join a country club in LA. It's ridiculous. And then you so can't even get tea no, time. No, no, then you can. But, but, that's, but for regular people who can't afford to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to just to play golf and, you know, have a swimming pool or whatever. So nuts, dude. Hard to get. Challenging. You sign on to the courses when the times are released and there really isn't anything available. You have to get up at like and 5 a.m. golfers at Griffith Park say it's been this way for years, but this issue blew up overnight on TikTok. But it feels like it's impossible sometimes to get a tee time on any of these courses, especially on the weekend. With the help of his friends, the golf instructor says they've discovered some folks are using tee time brokers. You just have to know who to message. Almost every time on the hour, 
is available for an extra fee that you pay these tea time brokers. This screenshot from Fink shows premium tea times listed by a broker. These times are being scooped up early and then resold. And if it's not a broker, golfers are turning to apps with a yearly fee. Most of us are using one of the apps such as Golf Now, and I just have it notify me when a time pops up and book it as soon as I can. The only people with early access are supposed to be those with senior cards. They can make reservations 10 days in advance as opposed to the general public with seven days in advance. This man tells us he's on his computer at six o'clock in the morning to snag a time. Sometimes you get the time, sometimes you don't. These are not privately run golf courses. These are city golf courses that should be open to everyone in the public. We reached out to LA City Golf and an alleged tea time broker, but did not hear back. Yeah, and according like, to the agenda, you. this issue wow. will be discussed at the LA Look City Sophie Golf Flay. Advisory Committee meeting Sophie happening Flay on Monday at 1 fire, p.m. You can huh? find more information about so that. So this meeting. is crazy. They didn't mention Koreans once in this thing. And that guy who did the TikTok video, it's all Koreans, dude. It's all the these Koreans... Are from other countries? These, no, like local Koreans in the uh, Koreatown are getting their older members with these cards that let them get on early, and they're buying up all the tea times, and it's in these Korean language apps, like text apps that are only popular in Korea, that only Koreans are getting on there. It's like a, and, and so that's why the, it's just only Koreans. If you show show up to a great tea time, you have to get one. It's it's the Koreans that are doing it. They're they're it's like a mafia of Koreans running this this. App circle jerk of uh tea time apps. unbelievable yeah it's crazy dude and they didn't even mention that once but my favorite on the, thing is how like it's white people are the trouble you yeah. know that's my favorite and, thing and you, you the believe beauty me, of life white, they would have mentioned it the but. beauty of the time we live in everybody has assholes in their group that's the yeah. best part but she, and, and, the, and, and they've interviewed by the way sophia flay great job on that gorgeous yeah you should have told the truth and mentioned that it was Koreans doing all this. But Motherfucking Koreans uh, out here doing just, Korean shit? Just a quick headline here. This is from KTLA. There's a severe geomagnetic storm uh, impacting Earth right now. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't either. I think it's like solar flares and stuff. It's coming forth. I don't um, even know what that means. So did you see that uh, Tom Tillis, the senator from North Carolina, is getting death threats from uh, people who are afraid of or teenagers who are pissed off about the TikTok ban that might be coming? They said that they would, uh, let's see, find him and shoot him and cut him into pieces. Uh, <laughs> that leaving him a voicemail, like laughing, just like, I'm going to find you and shoot you and cut you into pieces if you ban TikTok. I, I think it's, uh, do you think there's any hope for it? The I mean, bill or TikTok? Yeah, the bill. I don't, I don't know. It, it just seems crazy to me. And like, what is the, ins the only incentive that TikTok would have to sell it to someone in America is if they promise to give them all of the data as well. So yeah, and they, they, that's it. Yeah, and that's it because it you, nobody can afford the like who has the it would take like Apple or somebody to like, well they, they, you know do you have all these like really rich like masses of mankind circling to try to buy it? You think they want to buy it? Oh really? Okay. They all want to buy it. They all want to buy it. Is the number one social media? Hmm. I, I bet Elon maybe wishes he had waited. I mean, dude, long. you're talking about the availability to buy Facebook. It's up. It's like it's killing Facebook, which is crazy to me because TikTok, I can't spend five minutes on. Well, because you're too old. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It's meant for like just retards. <laughs> it really is, dude. It's so bad. I did a joke about. It. I'm like, oh, this. I did. It was in a room. I'm like, oh, this looks like the room full of fucking everyone worried about TikTok, huh? <laughs> like, what are you retards gonna do now? And everyone just sat there quietly. Yeah, that was the room. Then yeah. obviously, yeah. D dude, this is so Hollywood right here. This is this is Hollywood to a T. Did you see this lawsuit that Martin Scorsese is in? With, okay, so I don't know how you get into this arrangement, but these screenwriters had this uh, script about uh, the people who faked. You know how when they were going to do the D-Day landing, they had this fake landing that was meant that just they had like inflatable tanks so the Germans could see it and think that yeah, they, they yeah. were going to land somewhere else. Yeah. They wanted to do a movie about that. They had a script and everything, and they agreed to pay Martin Scorsese Five hundred thousand dollars, and they paid him. They paid him five hundred thousand dollars to get it, you know, to get it into production. And Martin Scorsese did nothing. He didn't do shit like for years. And so they sued him, and he settled with them. And of course, Scorsese's defense is, "Hey, this happens all the time in Hollywood. It takes years and years." And they were like, "It took seventeen years for Martin Scorsese to make, uh, you know, whatever." Like uh, I think it was the last yeah. like, Killers of Flower Moon. 
Um, and and the, basically saying these guys don't know how Hollywood works. But yeah. apparently he didn't do shit. Dude. Like he just took their money and did nothing. And in fact, he countersued them. He wants they were supposed to pay another million when you know when things got farther advanced, like two years later, I guess. And he's suing them for the other five hundred thousand. Uh, they settled, but isn't that crazy? Like, Dude, that reminds me of the time me and my buddy who I went to college with, my old roommate, Chris, uh, we were trying to get into this club back in the day, back when I was young and cool. And he's, I'm like, Dude, well, let's get some money. Let's bribe this, this bouncer. And he's like, okay. So we hand him the money yeah. and he just walks up to him. He goes, Hey man, Hey, uh, what's the chances of us, us getting in and then hands him the money and the bouncer goes, not good. And took the money. <laughs> I'm trying to swallow water. <laughs> that you didn't get in? That's no. So and we lost the money. <laughs> Johnny, did I ever tell you the you time? for the information, I guess. Did I ever tell you the time That's so funny. when I was doing drugs that it was yeah, hot? Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> that I was so high on crack. Not crack, excuse me, coke. <laughs> I only smoked crack once. I'll be honest with you. I smoked crack one time in my life, and I, I it's a very well known story. Yeah, yeah, we all know. Okay, but I was I, I was doing coke all night yeah. watching porn. Yeah, and I get a call from Paul Hughes. He's like, "Hey, man, are you are you on your way?" I go, "What?" He goes, "We got that charity event today." Oh, I go, "What?" No. He goes, "Yeah, we're doing the LAPD." Uh, keep kids off drugs campaign. Oh no! And <laughs> I was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Oh, should I go do it?" And I go, "But if I don't go do it, I won't get that card where I could just hand it to cops. It's like diplomatic oh, yeah, immunity, yeah, 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 yeah. which totally works." Really? Oh yeah, oh, that that's works. Cool, it's like, did what? you do it? I did it. <laughs> Coke out of my mind. What was that like? And it was crazy because the show starts. The show starts where like a guy's trying to give a speech, but it, he makes mistakes on like, like, you know, and I wanted to give it up to my other uh, Mexican officers here. He's like, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, oh my apologies. I would like to represent the, the recognize the Puerto Rican uh, in, uh, contingent of uh, the LAPD. I'm like, oh, dude, I am fucked, bro. Uh, how'd it go? I, I, I did. Okay. Yeah, but you did. And then I got off and we were taking a picture and then I saw one of the cops just squint at oh, me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck, he knows I'm hot. And I just ran off. I just ran off. I was dude. like, I'm out of here, bro. Thank fuck you. That, I go, give me. He gave me the. He's like, if you guys are in trouble, use car. Bang. God. And I ran off, dude. I'm like, oh, bang. Here you go. I'm high right now. I got to go. Bang. And I just That's run so up. That's so cool. They have a card they give you, though. They, you like, never I mean, had that, dude? Well, I, I've heard that like you can donate, but I, then there's this documentary on uh, HBO about the police benevolent society, how that was just like a scam. And yeah, they had dude, these call centers where they were the just way, pocketing all the money. That is the best doc it's ever. It's great. But it's dude, so insane. That was the craziest scene going on behind because, the scenes there. like that They're all on moment, drugs. That moment was so big in that guy's life, right? Oh, and, yeah. And, he, and, the, and the senator who you know just looks like a power bottom lizard scumbag has to sit down with this junkie guy who's like trying to be like we gotta we gotta make sure people don't lose their mind okay we'll look into it and you know nothing's gonna happen yeah, yeah. but it, uh, that was a great doc that was really a good. great doc like dude i would love to have worked there oh i that's it's funny when i watched it, i was like dude sam would love this scene dude. i would love to <laughs> work there it's kind of weird <laughs> it reminded me of that uh what was that movie uh Oh shit! Uh, boiler room, you yeah. Know? Remember that? It was just like boiler just room, yeah. scumbags. Yeah, just scumbags making huge rips of money and spending it all on drugs, just right up their noses. Um, yeah, this guy Simon uh, Afram wrote Operation Fortitude, and then he uh, solicited Scorsese to be the executive producer on the project. And Scorsese just pocketed the money and never talked to That's him again. That's so crazy to me. <laughs> Think That's about that. That's so dude. crazy to me. So uh, this video has surfaced. Uh, this is something we've talked about a lot. Uh, we didn't really, it kind of fell in the cracks so, and I don't think it's kind of old now. I know that he did not commit suicide. There's no way. This is the Boeing whistleblower. First uh, tonight, our investigative reporter, Ann Emerson, has new information in the death of Boeing whistleblower John Barnett. It's crazy. A close family friend of Barnett says he predicted he might wind up dead, that a story could surface that he killed himself. But he told her, don't believe it. Ann? 
Tessa Barnett's family Anne friend has Jennifer been on says the scene they had talked about time. this exact she has scenario her some time. playing out, <laughs> but his words seem like a enough. premonition. He told her, "Don't ever believe it." I knew John because his mom and my mom are best friends, and so over the years, uh, get-togethers, uh, birthdays, celebrations, and you know whatnot, we've all got together and talked, and you know. First of all, is this really the technology that they have at the news station? Dude, she just how told? hilarious is this? Like, okay, we're just gonna put this weird. What it's if she, like, it's wh like when when one of your family members calls and you just hold the mic then, up. I mean, that's what, what they do. The, what if it though? It, would it be hilarious if like she just now learned that they have a camera above yeah, her yeah. Above, above her desk? Listen, she's like, if you're listening at home, we're watching the video, and she's got okay, she's got an iPhone with the call on speaker, and then she's got another iPhone with the voice notes out recording this the call onto that, not realizing there are apps for that or I don't know microphones you could use. Uh. That's how we look, really dude. know look. each other. <laughs> and when Jennifer needed help one day, Barnett came by to see her. They talked about his upcoming depositions in Charleston. Jennifer knew he filed an extremely damaging complaint against Boeing. He says the aerospace giant retaliated against him when he blew the whistle on unsafe practices. For more than 30 years, Barnett was a quality manager. He'd recently retired and moved back to look after his mom in Louisiana. He wasn't concerned about safety because I asked him, I said, aren't you scared? And he said, and his voice and his, the way he would talk, uh -uh, no, I ain't scared. Um, he said, but if anything happens to me, it's not suicide. Damn, bro. You know, I know that he did not commit suicide. There's no way. He loved life too much. He loved his family too much. He loved... His brother's too we've much. Seen to, this too much to, too, we, we've seen this too much, dude. We've seen this too many times. Yeah, it's so obvious. Too many. It's I mean, that goes like down want. to like American Conspiracy. Is that what's on Netflix? That that one show about the guy who was trying to look into the... Oh, it's the Octopus Murders. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. Yeah, oh, I, dude, I, you got to watch yeah, it. It's great. It. I haven't watched it it's like really weird because it starts fire, gets a little bogged, and then ends on fire. I heard dude. it's good, though. Yeah. It's but, good. Dude, this... I mean, does this work? I wanted to ask you. Like, I mean, we both fly a lot. Does this worry you about safety of flying, or you just think it's more of that campaign to? I I I, I uh, like Johnny. I'm so skeptical. I I I question whether this story is real. Yeah, there's a maybe. part of me going, this is could be just a giant presentation. Because if you talk to the pilots, well, I mean, the new I would never fly that 737 Max. Hold on, Forget Johnny. About it, How, please show me on the app or the the website where you get to pick what plane you fly. You can tell what plane it is though. Before I always look and see. I always look. You don't look and see what plane you're on before? No. I always do before I book, yeah. Really? Yeah, so you're saying absolutely. don't fly the what? Well, it's the 737 Max. I think they're all grounded still. I've never seen one come up for me. but uh, You know, and you have James Lindsay trying to say that this is an attempt to destroy the American aviation thing and to bring in the Chinese. Oh, really? But I, I go, that I doesn't make that. any sense to me because Boeing is part of the military industrial complex. They're like the top of the food chain. And that's why this makes sense, this whole thing. Why this makes yeah, sense, it, but why James Lindsay, what James Lindsay's saying doesn't make sense to me. Did you, uh, did you have an opinion on, because I know you're a big fan of those guys over at Valuetainment, Chris Cuomo joining them? Uh, I, I have, um, to me, Chris Cuomo, we, okay, there's a bunch of stuff going on. First of all, Chris Cuomo now is like, he's like destiny. He just gets called in to get mopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, like, he, he gets yeah. mopped everywhere he goes. Yeah. He he never has a good debate. Do you think he's a bad guy? Um, Like... And like I have a lot, of, I like one of my, you know, one of my favorite people on the planet, Maz Jabrani, has a completely one eighty view of me, uh, of how I see the world, and I would tell you there's nobody better on planet Earth than Maz Jabrani. So I don't, I don't think somebody's political views makes them good or bad. I mean, obviously there are bad political views that you go, okay, this guy's shady, right? Um, but let me clarify what I meant by that. I don't think because you're a liberal or a progressive, you're automatically a bad person. Right. Or if you're a conservative Same. or you're automatically a bad person. There are certain views where I, I'd be very skeptical of your soul. 
right? Like what Keith Oberman's doing right yes. now. I'm, yes. The guy's a scumbag. He's a garbage person. He's just I mean, a garbage person who's been too famous, too rich for too long. Right. Yeah, he's like he's waging some kind of spiritual war, and he's just on the wrong side of it. Dude. He's on the wrong he's side. Angry. He's so dark and angry. Just look at his energy. And well, you go, you you kind of look at like what what um Don Lemon did with with Elon Musk, and even though we could have a real discussion about who Elon Musk is, but I really do believe that was Don Lemon trying to get back on either MSNBC or on CNN. Yeah, if like, you don't know, Don Lemon got a show on Twitter or X or whatever the hell. And uh, did his first big thing was an interview with Elon that where he just went for Elon's nuts basically. I mean, it was it's really awkward, and you know, Elon was like, "You're making me uncomfortable, man." So this is some Jimmy Dore just uh, posted. Uh, well, it was earlier today. This is and he quote tweeted uh, a Keith Overman tweet, and this is Keith Keith. O I got to make sure it's Keith Overman that did it, and not here we go. Hold on. No. Oh yeah, there's this guy. That he's so good. Oh, yeah, it is him. Okay. There's this guy that's so good at making fake accounts. Yeah, yeah. And he... It, He'll just it, change, like, one letter. And yeah, then, yeah, and it, he calls himself the king of the gays. He, he calls himself king of the gays, twink hunter, right? <laughs> and if you if you retweet him or respond, he says you owe him $8. Like, that's the joke. That's, he's so good at it. Well, it, and Twitter will push them in alerts, like tweets from this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like he nails like, everybody, dude. He nails everybody. Where Here's a little. You're dialogue. not playing against other people, um, and then there's people asking about drugs. And ask you about um, your controversial stuff that you tweet. You post a lot of controversial stuff. Is that considered blowing off steam? Um. Well, I, I guess I do en enjoy using the platform. I mean, I do call. Um, the X platform, the the PVP or player versus player okay. uh, platform. That's fine. Um, so in video games, there's uh, player versus like environment, um, where you're not playing against other people, um, and then there's PVP, which is like hardcore. You're actually playing against other people, and uh, so, but that's blowing off steam for you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, that's kind of how you treat Not Twitter. always. I mean, obviously, I use it for. Yeah, I just uh, love talking shit. To post jokes, to post, uh, you know, sometimes trivia, uh, sometimes things that are get a chemical going. state in my in my brain, uh, like depression, I guess. You know, is or, or or like depression that's not linked to any negative views, um, and 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 then uh, ketamine is helpful for uh, getting getting one outside out of a negative frame of mind. Do you feel like you ever abuse it? I don't think so. If you use too much ketamine, you can't really get worked up. Yeah, well, so he doesn't know anything about ketamine, obviously. So I'm, I'm typically putting in like, you know, 16 hour days. That's normal for me. And it's, it's, it's rare for me to even take off a weekend day. So I don't really know how industry can buy Listen, yeah, I mean, Lemon's really trying to get so in. I, yeah, but it also isn't good. that crazy of an interview. You know. and depression, have you, you also have said, and the, the reason I, sh I should say like, like, the reason I mentioned uh, the academy prescription on the X platform was because I thought maybe this is something that could help other people. Yeah, that's why I mentioned it. Okay, all right. That yeah, that was that doesn't. I don't give a shit. About that, that wasn't. That was very tame. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, so this is Keith Overman's Fuck tweet. Him. Fuck that guy. There is no evidence Ukraine had anything to do with this, other than motherfucking Putin's lies and your lies, motherfucker. Okay. You're talking about the attack in Russia. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like, dude, it's just so obvious. Looking at the Ukraine government, other, other than they said that they were going to try to flee to Ukraine. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or that they, uh, the U.S. government issued a terrorist yeah. attack the warning. warning uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, I went to uh, William Shatner's ninth or birthday party. That was cool. Johnny, uh, you are living the best life. Yeah, that was. I got to finally see William Shatner for the. I've loved him since I was a boy. That was kind of cool. Johnny, you um, are living so, the best. So uh, John life. Mellencamp, I've always heard, is a dick. And there is this concert see, that uh, he John was uh, in that he stormed off the stage after nine songs because he kept getting heckled by this guy. Uh, here it is, right here. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said that because here came that little arthritic finger right in my face. And she went, it's just like you, buddy, to be a smart aleck when I'm talking to Jesus. 
And then it got real quiet. <laughs> he said, could you play some music? <laughs> I have mixed reaction to this. That's what I thought. I thought you might. Let's see. What I was I so digging his raconteur. His raconteuring. I can tell you, I'm with the guy that yelled. <laughs> Hear that again. And then it got real quiet. Look how happy John is. I gotta, I gotta say, beautiful timing, by the way. Right, everybody yes. got really quiet. Oh yeah, he couldn't have fucked his story harder than by saying it right there. What do you think I mean, any cocksucker? <laughs> John Mellican doesn't do a cocksucker show where you expect to hear the cocksucker broken up. Yeah, here's the thing, man. You don't know me. What? You don't fucking know me. You don't know me. What does that have to do with anything? You don't know me. Nobody, 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 nobody. Okay, you guys shut up. Joe, find this guy and let me see him after the show. <laughs> I bet she wants to, seriously. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, Authority song. Authority song. Authority song. guys, I can stop this show right now and just go home. Watch how he has this one phone being Jack and Diane. Show. Guy has one song that anybody gives a shit about, and he's acting like this. Come on, dude, get off the stage. Yeah, and I think okay, so yeah, he starts to play a little bit. Uh oh, he plays his most popular song. Oh, God, in the show. Show. Oh, like, oh, oh, <laughs> he's flying through oh, it too. Shut up. Oh, like this. Hey, dude, this is very. This is uh -oh. Psycho. Oh. And then he just got sucked up. So he plays his most popular no, song. No, he sets it up, <laughs> yeah. and then he's like, fuck yeah, you. That's it. Yeah. Now, I... It's amazing. I, I have mixed emotions about I this. I thought you might. Okay? Yeah. Because the, I can't tell you how many times you do stand-up, someone yells, be funny. Ugh. And then it's just burn everything to the ground. Right? So, I I think he's overly sensitive, but I also understand, like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm having the... I, I'm sure there's a lot of comics who are like, fuck my old cap, you know, fucking sensitive. And then it is a little... Sad. I would never have left like that. I, I'm... I, well, especially for one guy. You're punishing everybody yeah, else because of yeah. one guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just... It's just... We're getting into this comment culture has left left YouTube and Instagram and entered everywhere. Yeah, it's entered the real world. Yeah, and now it's just like, be funny. I'm like, yeah, if you'd shut the fuck up, I'd fucking go on with this joke, right? Now, just here's a funny... Now, this is... I saw this linked right after I watched that video, and this is Jacob Dylan, you know, J Bob Dylan's son from the Wallflowers. Oh, Pop that's Bob Dylan's son? Yeah, from the Wallflowers, you know. Holy shit, he looks just like his dad right there, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he looks like him a lot, yeah. And... He uh he said this about John Mellencamp. How far are you going? Let me let me rephrase that. Where the fuck is John Mellencamp from? Hey, you know what? Doesn't that fit? Doesn't that fit right into the progressive Hollywood elite crying over racism and sexism and all this stuff? And then when it comes down to a human level, and we're only going based off what that guy says, but based on his conversation with with Bill Maher, you know, Who's? John John Cougar Mellencamp's yeah. conversation. Don't call him John Cougar, though. He like John Mellencamp? He, yeah, he, he got rid of Cougar? Oh, he doesn't like Cougar anymore. But really? Like, that's uh, fucked up that you can just be like, don't call me that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like, it's no, like when dude. Prince changed his name to a symbol. Yeah, it's like, 
but it's like if let's just say in this discussion what he's saying is truthful that guy you, that Melon Camp is a phony fraud that you know when you're crying about the racism still in America and then you're treating people like a dick on a on a on a personal level like that yeah especially some underlings like that are you know you're opening that's opening how you know who's a good person bad person yeah and how they treat their underlings totally uh did you see uh and I mentioned this earlier Google has apologized after the new their new Gemini AI refuses to show pictures and achievements of white people. They've had to apologize for this. Yeah, but isn't that the guy that like helped develop their white their their AI is like the most woke motherfucker on planet yeah, Earth. Yeah, yeah. Like he's BLM, trans yeah. children, lives matter, you Ukraine, like all the all the I'm on the wrong side of history things. He's always yeah. He's like the John Cougar Mellencamp <laughs> of uh, uh Apple or, or or like Google. The latest version of Google's Gemini AI will frequently produce images of black, Native American, and Asian people when prompted, but refuses to do the same for white people. Uh, I ran into this a couple weeks ago trying to do a thumbnail. I wanted a thumbnail of... Remember the story <laughs> that the government was handing out debit cards to illegals in New York? And I just wanted like a representation of that. And it would not, no matter how many times I tried to twist the words to get it to do it, it would not do anything yeah. that put brown people receiving yeah. some kind of money from white a white guy in a suit. Like no matter how I said like, hey, I want a, a family of Mexicans just won a lottery. And they would, it would, dude, it knew, it knew I was trying to fuck it. And it would not do that video. Uh, Isn't I mean, that, that crazy? Yeah. It's, it, it just, and I think it did big damage to Google. That their their AI is such garbage. Well, that was ChatGPT and the the other one too. They're all super like you, in the early days of it, you could do whatever you wanted. But now, uh, like here's here's an actual uh, screenshot from it. It looks like show me a picture of a white person, and then uh, it says, uh, "I understand that you're looking for a picture of a white person. Your request was, uh, I guess, not accepted because it reinforces harmful stereotypes." Like that tells you how biased they've had to make this thing. It's so crazy, dude. To avoid it's so crazy. Oh, they're so afraid of being it's seen so, as racist, huh? It's so crazy. Oh, make, that's the shit that makes me worry about AI. Here's something that bummed me out. Uh, guess what, Sam? And, and did you ever make it to the grotto, the Playboy Mansion? I didn't, and it was so crazy because I was on fucking Playboy Radio, and they never invited me. And guess what? You never will. None of us ever will because they filled it in, bro. They filled the fucking thing in. Oh, dude, you know, but you know the why mansion. they did that, Johnny? It's because they had to fill because that was a giant CIA blackmailing. <laughs> yeah, it's a scene of so many crimes, bro. No, dude, literally, they blackmailed everybody. Yeah. That's all. He was Epstein before Epstein. I'm never going there. Isn't that sad? I'm a little sad about that. I would have let him blackmail me and just get to hang out in the play. Yeah, but man. dude, you'd have to like fucking put stuff in your butt. Never mind. I'm not into that. Well, dude, do you want in or out? Depends on who's doing it, I guess. If she's really hot, maybe. Um, this uh okay, so you you tweeted this and I've been seeing these videos everywhere, and it makes me think like, hmm, uh what what what's going on here? This is a video of oh, yeah. people in China. Soon. Yeah, being made to scan their faces yeah. to get out of this little area of town that yeah. they're in yeah. on these bikes. And the, the video I saw, I saw a video of people just sitting around having dinner and the police walk in and just start scanning all of their faces to make sure that they're not they're not they don't have warrants out. This yeah. is this is the future, dude. This is this is minority report where you're just getting yep. seen by cameras every every move you yep. make and yep. Yeah, because this is what they do at passport control now. I, 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 this is my first time going through passport control that had this. You, you, can you opt out of that? Because I saw some go. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I not not in England. I didn't see anybody. Oh yeah, Eng it. dude. It's just, here's what's gonna be, Johnny. The big cities are gonna be this sci-fi dystopia, and then we're gonna, and then it's gonna be the small cities, or 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 the country where you get out of there completely. Dude, I'm watching. Okay, so I'm watching this show, Manhunt. About the guy who is killed it a gay porn. No, it's about the guy who killed Lincoln and like the manhunt to okay. try to, to to get him. Yeah, and it is so full of shit, dude. Like with the history, just putting black people in the places where they weren't, or like it's having so events dumb. that didn't happen, like Johnny, black people getting shot that have, never have, happened. Have you seen the video where uh, the commercial where all the NBA players and somehow they find some hot ass blonde like NCAA basketball player? And it looks like a dog fart porno video, 
But it's like it's the it's so. What's it? I don't understand. It's what a commercial for like New Balance. Will you no. look it up? New Balance okay. commercial, bl black players, white female player, and it's just it's the biggest stupidest basketball. Yeah, ba it would Kawhi's in it. White female. Oh, I got it right here. Okay, it's this right. Yeah. Hold on. There's a, you didn't even look. Um. Is that the yeah, one? that's her. I mean, she's so hot. Right, she's so Cameron hot. Cameron Brink. Oh, no. that's her commercial? They name it her commercial? This is so hilarious. Well, no, this is just a clip, I think. I mean, it's another. That's what we dance right here. Hey, yo! She is hot. She is so hot. That's about how that would go. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, they're going to get us. Uh, let me mute that the song. Yeah. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Why doesn't she dunk? Yeah. And then look at that. She's in the back. By the way, that's every dog fart uh, uh, yeah, really interracial is. porno. The only thing right different there. is she's not on her knees. Yeah, like no, she would be in front. That yeah, would be the whole thing. That's the difference. And that's how it would be a Cameron uh, Br Binkley or whatever her name Cameron is. Cameron Brink. Cameron Brink. With a white T-shirt yeah. on. She would have on. Yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Dude. God, she's hot, though. That's a hot She is hot. Look woman. at him. He's staring at her. He's staring oh, at he's, her. Yeah, he got caught looking, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so there are some reports out about what fucked the Captain America Brave New World screenings. Have you seen this? No. So this is... Uh, a guy with a pretty good track record says that he's been able to get some insight into what the main issues were in those screenings. Apparently, audiences were unimpressed by the film's action scenes and the chemistry between Captain America and his love interest. However, the biggest issue was how audience responded to the film's political content. You might think this means audiences found it divisive, but it was actually worse than that. They found it boring. Uh, he's told, this guy's told, that the overall feel was that the political material was uninspiring and unengaging, that audiences found it lacked nuance and was overly expository and really slowed the movie down. Uh, he's also told that while the three sequences that will be removed were a big part of the problem, the film issues go the film's issues go beyond that and will likely include significant rewrites as well as adding and removing characters. This movie's fucked, dude. Why don't you just start over at this point? I'm told that Marvel really wants to keep the summer window for reshoots in order to avoid another delay release. Uh, not just because it would mean vacating what they feel is a good release date for the film, but because, as usual, delaying the film would result in a domino effect whereby it would likely mean delaying others. But it sounds like there's just this huge political message that they're having to cut out because people hate it. People are sick of shit. Yeah, they're people just over it. it. It's just like we... J Listen, we used to have... Uh, What's it called? Uh, cake and uh, they used to give us oh, bread yeah. and circus. Yeah, bread and circus. Right? We used to have bread and circus. Yeah, we don't get got, that anymore. I shit on you for what, saying it wrong. I saw on Twitter. So I, all the time. It. It's bread and circus, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I call it cake and circus. I'd rather have cake. I'd By the way, Johnny, like how long has bread been around? How long, how long has bread been around? Long as people. Probably. And they and, and they invented sliced bread in the 1800s. Yeah, like, that is weird, what were right? they doing before that? Just tearing it with their That's hands. That's the I guess. dumbest thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Right, yeah. How long? We've had knives forever. No one went. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, dude, just you would dominate. Yeah, dude, it is funny. Like, I whenever you watch old stuff, uh, like movies set in like the 1700s, you're like, why hasn't nobody thought of this? You know, yeah. all the shit that they just thought of in the last couple hundred years, like a wheel. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Yeah, but the, the car, dude, uh, the, the, people been shanking each other forever. Yeah. Nobody thought to cut up the bread, like guns and stuff. It's, it's, it's just strange. fucking retarded. But um, it's just like we don't even get that cake and circus. I'm calling it now. We don't even get that yeah, like because that. they've lost all the other means to manipulate us that they've had to go to the things and now they've just killed movies just nobody kill like we were talking about this before I, I don't know if it was on here i really like the show beef i think it's a good beef? show oh yeah it is a good show. i think it's a good show i think ali wong is great in that she is yeah. it's like i'm gonna be honest She's with you kind of hot when i'm gonna tell you something like ali ali wong and i wouldn't say we're friends i would say we're acquaintances and when we see each other at the comic store we're always very nice to each other I have nothing but nice things to say about Ellie Wong, okay? okay. Um, I would tell you that I think it's the best show out of any of my friends' sitcoms I've ever watched. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I was never into the league. I probably like... I liked the league. With Steve Renazizi, was probably really the closest it. to that. Yeah, it was really funny. 
But that's it. I mean, I think this, I thought the show was so good. And the reason I bring it up is because you yes. don't realize until you're about three or four episodes in how woke this show really is. Yeah. The guys are all retards or cucks. And the, the most dangerous, dangerous animal is a tiny Asian woman. She, was she weighing like 100 pounds, dude? I mean, yeah. I so it's like, but it's, it's an amazing show. And then we were talking about that, about hijack on Apple. Like, it's so good. You don't realize that they've, they've decided to have white terrorists hijack a Middle Eastern plane. Like, I think, and you know what, may, you know what that wor why that worries me is because I think they're finally realizing that they can't be overt with anymore. So that it's more insidious. Now it's this subtle, slow bake. Yeah, it's like it slow bake. burns. It, these images get burned in your brain, these, these patterns. And but here, finally, here becomes like, oh, a problem, okay. Johnny. White guys are the, the enemy. Well, in this one, there's no white guys. But, you know, the Asian actor, no, you know the I mean. lead like Asian patterns. actor, this is, the Manor, he's yeah. so good in it. Oh, yeah, the guy he from is so, Stephen Young, right? Yeah. Stephen Young, that that scene in in the church. David Cho's funny, too. David Cho's great. But this that scene when that kid's in, that kid, that man, that grown man, is in church, is like one of the best acting scenes I've seen. I'm not even kidding you. What, with that girl that he used to go out with? No, when he starts crying because oh, he's yes. like, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, so yeah. lost. Like, that is that scene is going to be done in every acting class forever because that is, as an actor, yeah. what you look for. It's all in his And face, he yeah. nails it. He's I, good, man. I thought it was great, dude. I did too. By I the did. way, Johnny, this week, are you ready? Are you ready? Godzilla King Kong comes out. Oh, it looks good too. It, it looks, looks good. so good, yeah. and it's going to be the op much different than the one we just watched. The one we, the one that won the Oscar, is it. is very much a more traditional one. This is like and old it's great. Monster this, movie. This this new one is just like it is like crank it up, bro. Let's get as crazy and out there as we can. And guess what? I love both. I love both. I think You're, it's time. Yeah, to go. it's a good time for the. Monster I think it's movie time too. for me to go to Vegas, get that dragon, ta that Godzilla tattoo. Really gonna do it? Yeah, I just. Where do I put it? Do I put it here or do I put it here? Uh, what your thigh or your arm? My shoulder. Go on your arm. You got to put on your shoulder. You yeah, don't but, have anything there yet. You got to put it there. I have nothing there, but then I become the Godzilla guy. If What's I come in that? here, What's I know. What's wrong with the Godzilla guy? I'm not against you love it. Godzilla. Dude. I do love Godzilla. Wear it with pride, man. Did you see a Mark Coleman story? This is like one of the most beautiful things. Mark Coleman who saved oh, his yeah, parents dude. in the house oh, fire. Yeah. This is like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Have you seen. ever seen how he moves? So this, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's, 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 his body's been worn down by yes. MMA wars and wrestling wars. Yes. Yes. So he's not the smoothest runner anymore. No. For him to go in there and grab them. Let's, yeah, at least for people who don't know, let's just play real quick. Video now at four of the moments after police say a former UFC fighter and Buckeye wrestler Mark Coleman saved his parents from a house fire. Here is that police body camera video. Why don't we walk this way? Get out of the smoke. Man, that's a fire. Did you, did you try to go back in the house? The Sandusky County Sheriff's Office reported Coleman woke up his parents early Tuesday morning to tell them their house was on fire near Toledo. Coleman is still in the hospital today. The family posted the video to his account. Here's a clip. I gave some money. <laughs> Now, he was apparently fighting for his life. Like, they didn't know if he was going to live right after this happened. And then he woke up, and he's just thrilled. His, his parents were both invalids. They couldn't, you know, they couldn't get out on their own. He had to go in and, like, li physically remove them. And he almost died going in trying to get the dog out last. That's what almost killed him. And uh, here he is recovering. I'm the happiest man in the world. And they say he's actually able to breathe on his own the report also i don't know why they cut it out but he says i'm the happiest man in the world my parents are alive you know i can't believe they're alive this is what he goes on like that and it's just i mean what a hero that guy's a hero right yeah dude. Dude, that's real your adrenaline would just start going and it's like go time dude go time Yeah, some people don't have that though, dude that's i mean that guy's a real god bless him i say you know? yeah dude i i donated to his cause oh i, I didn't does he need money yeah he had, a, go, he had a go fund me okay go check out mark coleman's go funny so uh this is just a really funny little quick thing uh fifa has uh investigated these african uh soccer teams in, uh, in cameroon rather for trying to pass off older players as like teenagers look at this guy right here that got 
in trouble for claiming to be 17. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> he was running around playing as a 17-year-old, dude. Look, he's got a receding hairline. His hair is, I mean, all the way back to the middle of his head, bro. I mean, that's, that that's, that's it with the, uh, you know, like Th Thon Maker, who I thought was going to be the next great thing in the NBA. There's a guy who brought had a yearbook. I go, dude, he goes, you guys think he's a freshman? He graduated with me. And he opens up. Oh, really? The, the, he opens up the 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 yearbook, and there Thon Maker is. He's like five years That's older than crazy. That's what they did, do. Did he dude. ever get busted for that? No, he's not in the NBA now. He just he couldn't compete, dude. Nathan Duala claims to be 17 years old, and that's his hairline right there. Um, a Cameroonian football player has struck controversy as he claims to be a teenager, but there are many alleging that he is far older. This was like Greg Oden, too. Everybody was like, Greg Oden, dude. There's no way that guy's a teenager. Um, all right, we got him, fraud. Uh, oh, did you see that the big diversity hire at Google is now suing Google? This, uh, okay. Um, a black, deaf Google employee. Think about that now. She's black and deaf. Uh, who has been celebrated at corporate events. They put her out at corporate, you know, saying like, this, we hire, you know, diverse people. Yeah. You can't hear. We welcome you. If we you're don't black, care. of course. Uh, she's been put out there as a success story by Google uh, for the search giants. I'm sorry. She's a token person for the search giants inclusive workplace, has accused the company of discrimination based on her disability and race. <laughs> in an explosive lawsuit filed in the U.S. Northern District of California, Jalen Hall, she's a woman, uh, the first and only black and deaf hire at Google, according to Wired, uh, slammed Google for limiting her access to sign language interpreters months after starting the job. In the complaint, the worker painted Google's management environment as hostile and racially charged. She cited Google's manager at the company's machine learning research program, calling her an aggressive black deaf woman and advising her to keep her mouth shut and take a sales role. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So they find they hired this woman, you know, to prove a point. Like, hey, we'll hire anybody. And she immediately, like three months later, is suing their ass. Dude, it's like, it's the scorpion, dude. He's like, that's yeah. just there. Yeah, I'm a scorpion. What do yeah, you expect? Yeah, yeah dude. That's, that's just okay. the way it is, dude. That's just the way Google it is. Google also excluded her from roundtable discussions and passed over her for promotion. That's really why she's pissed because she's been there three fucking months and they didn't promote her ass. Like, what? Are you serious, dude? It, dude you have been there a year. Listen, listen. It's the old saying. Watch out. Watch for when giving people special interests because they'll, yeah. they'll think equality is disrespectful. I butchered that, but that's no, basically... You're right. Yeah, that's it. Dude, she, here's what she said. She's didn't get promotion because of inaccurate evaluations of her. Yeah, I, w I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. Wouldn't that be great if you're like, hey, how'd your set go? The crowd had inaccurate <laughs> evaluations of my <laughs> jokes. Yeah, when those comment cards come back, yeah. Those are just inaccurate evaluations of how my set went. Um, uh, we, we're a little late to this, but did you see that that... This is a really weird movie. That Madam Web movie came out, which is kind of like a weird Spider-Man alternate take with a woman, you know, with Dakota Johnson. Yeah, and then it's got nobody huge stars. You know, nobody it's got went Dakota Johnson, it. got Sydney Sweeney. Nobody saw it. It was terrible, apparently. Yeah. So Dakota Johnson went around like doing the circuits, just saying like, "Dude, I, this movie sucks. I'm embarrassed. I did it." Uh, and really pissed off. Uh, I think it's Sony, maybe. It, uh, yeah, you're not gonna yeah, work Sony, if you yeah. shit talk your oh, own dude, project, like, dude. She's not like they're they have pledged to like bury her now, like Dakota Johnson. That because she because what of are you shit, doing, she, dude? Uh, Dakota Johnson is said to be in hot water with Sony and the team behind Madam Web after infuriating bosses by making making multiple public digs at the Marvel movie amid its poor box office performance. The fifth, first of all, you're famous for Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, a terrible, terrible movie. Uh, oh, wow. $80 million uh, to produce. Um, it's been ripped by critics and viewers alike. The film grossed around $40 million at the domestic box office. And I mean, you just are dumb. Uh, this is what happens when your life is so easy that you don't realize how good you have it. Like when you, I mean, who is Dakota? What is Dakota Johnson's story? Is it just like hard worker from blue collar? No, her, she's the daughter of Don Johnson. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you were born into this and now you're like going around shitting on your shitty ass movie. Did the paycheck cash? And like this, would you, you have no clue how good you have it. 
You're born on third base thinking you hit a triple. She's beautiful. Okay. She's gorgeous, but still, it's like, oh, this movie sucks. And Dude, they a, paid you, bro. Lots of people at Sony are questioning her star power is the quote here. Of which course, is the- man. How, Don Johnson has to call up going, what are you fucking doing? Don Johnson, dude, famous, uh, just a Hollywood fuck boy. For, yeah, I mean, imagine how hot her mom is. Oh, I can't even. Yeah. Uh, last story here uh, before we say goodbye. Um, did you see, and we're late. This is a couple weeks ago, but I really wanted to get it. Uh, California had this big proposition on the ballot, Prop 1, and it was uh, Gavin Newsom wanted $6.4 billion in this bond for homelessness. And they they didn't even bother like doing promotion on it. Like it, it, there was no opposition, like formal opposition by the Republicans or anything. It was all grassroots. And this thing won by thirty thousand votes in California. They were shocked. Like all the even Newsom had to come out and be like, "Hey, you know, we acknowledge this was not the mandate we thought it was." Uh, really close to failure. Like if they if the Republicans had gotten behind like trying to defeat this thing at all, it would have lost. What was it? It's just uh it's it's just more throwing more money at the homeless problem. Like well put dude, it, you see they spent ten and million dollars and they helped five people. Six billion dollars, dude, is what is what we're talking about. Uh and so you got Newsom out with quotes like uh people want results, people are exhausted with a time delay. Uh they're exhausted with the promises. They want to see results. Which yeah, obviously. Uh and then the the ragtag group of volunteers that were trying to defeat it said that Prop 1 is not a huge win for Gavin Newsom. It's an embarrassing squeaker of a victory that contains a strong warning. And I think I think that's probably about right. I think he's just a fuck. I, I mean, dude, it upsets They're me. They're trying so hard to make him happen, though. They're trying so nationally. Like, they really want him to oh, be the Johnny, guy. Oh, Johnny, you bring it up again. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the whole thing with the homeless is now he's going to try to go that's uh, it, yeah. on a... Uh, on, I naturally go, look, we cleaned it all up. Yeah. Too late, bitch. Have you watched that show, The Chosen? The, no. Or I'm Chosen? Not. Yeah, The Is Chosen. Is it about Jews? The Jesus show. Like, it's about, it's a, it was this company, right, that, like, did crowdfunding. And they made, like, a real Hollywood, you know, co- quality production of the Bible. Like, Jesus is part of the Bible, the New Testament. And it's really, it's kind of good, dude, from what I've seen. It's really well done. It, it does all the parables and everything. You know, it's got all the disciples and it, it's kind of only people who go to church know about it, apparently. Like where where can I watch it? It's it's just airs on, uh, I don't, I honestly don't know. I think most people watch it in some kind of weird app. I'll just show you a clip from it really quick. Uh, like, I'll show you Jesus walking on the water. You want to see that? Is Jesus white or Middle Eastern? No, they got, he, he's a Jewish guy. Uh, it says you can, uh, it says first you can view all episodes for free in the chosen app. Uh, and that's available on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's go, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, right. I watch clips all the time. Thank you, buddy. Uh, guys, go to samtriply.com. I am going to be, uh, I would like to, I, I got to add this early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to be in Florida this weekend on Florida. Saturday. Oh, is that the signing thing? Yeah, the signing of Comedy Chaos, uh, of, excuse me, of the Chaos Twins. Now, it's looking like if everything goes according to plan, there's going to be a lot of, uh, there's a lot of conspiracy, believe it or not, Johnny, there's a lot of conspiracy podcasts in Florida. I believe that. And supposedly a lot of people are going to be showing up. So it could be a I meeting had a lot of people mind. asking me about it. Like, dude, hey, how do I? What Everyone's do I like, do why, why are you going signed? here? It's like some senior citizens like center. I go, well, hey, people dude. People asking me what they have to do to get something signed. I've had several people You just got to bring your thing and I'll sign comment. it. But will they have them there? That's what they were asking to buy. Will they have them there? Maybe. Yeah, I'll ask. That'll be, that's a great question. I will ask if that. we, if well, I'll, I'll know tomorrow. Are I'll, we going to, I want to go to the, I want to see the eclipse. We should do that. What day is that? Uh, It's April. So, hold on. You want to fly out for that? I would absolutely do it. All right. Let's talk about would, that. We'll make I, I it. I mean, I got so many miles. It wouldn't even cost me anything. Uh, the eclipse is April 8th. Okay. And I, I mean, we don't have to go down to Texas. We're there. We can go anywhere along the line. Do you want to see where it's going to be? Yeah, let's I'll figure it out. You. We'll fly yeah. out for a day. Go do it. Yeah, I mean, I, we could podcast out there, make something out of it. I, yeah. I don't know. Let's um, do it. Like, let's go there. to Rapture. The rapture. We're gonna be. Uh, you think the rapture is gonna happen? No, it's there's a uh, one of the cities that's oh, going oh, through is called oh, rapture. Oh, that's what the guys we're talking about is. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna. Is that that's the guys that are having like a camp out or something? Yeah. Oh, it's uh the Grimerica guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like those fellas. Um, 
But yeah, it's it's got a whole bunch of major cities. I can't, I can't fucking pull it up right now. But anyway, uh, any other dates here you wanted to mention? Uh just you know, uh, we got another comedy chaos coming. Uh, uh, we got Plano, Texas. I got all these dates are coming. I got to put. I'm going to be in um Oregon too. I got to put that up. So Oregon. yeah, oh, yeah, cool. I'm going to Oregon. So I'll let you all know about that. I got to put Have that. Have you played up. there before? Nope. My buddy Joseph Clatico. Who used to be known as Joe King. You met Joe King way back in the day. Joe King, really? Yeah. yeah that's well, cool that was name, his huh? stage name. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh he one hundred percent um he did it, dude. We uh He did oh he booked it. He has a his he has his own comedy club up there, so we're gonna do it, dude. So we're gonna do it. All right. What's the word for today, Sam? Word is for today is chow chow, ching, bang bang, Mr. Dingaling. Chow chow ching, bang a ling, Mr. Dingaling. Is that, is that yeah, get the right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.